Hey, what's poppin' everyone? So I'm doing a new series, this is the start of a new series. It's gonna be called, Where in the World is Dan? And it's going to be trying to figure out where in the world I am. Uh, or, or maybe I'll just tell you. I'm in Gainesville, Florida <laughs> right now. Um, and I am walking to where I took almost all my classes, the physics building. Uh, I'll show you the sign in a second, but I'm trying to make this series kind of like, because I, I live in a bus right now and I want to explore. Here, physics, there's a sign. But since I live in a bus right now, I feel like I can explore freely wherever I wish to. And I want to explore places that are cool. And you know, the place I went to college is of course really cool, because uh, if you look over there, there's some cool fancy physics contraptions. But um, yeah, I'm going to walk into the, the building right now probably be a little bit quiet. All right, so I'm in the physics building right now and I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because there's um, it's pretty empty in here. It has a lot of cool stuff. Like look at this thing. It's um, a chaotic pendulum. I'm not sure if you can read that, but um, it has three pieces of metal rod that um, I guess kind of are very chaotic, as you can see. It's really cool, because once you spin it, it will spin for a while, very chaotically. And I don't know, we used to play with this a lot before, while we are waiting for classes. Another cool thing we have, it's kind of like an optical illusion, or optical physics trick. I took physics, or optical physics, when I was here, but, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's kind of a dinosaur here. Let me see if I can back up and show you. There we go. Look at that. If I go in real close, you can see a bunch of rainbowy stuff. But if I back up, I think um, the optical lines will converge or something like that. I don't remember the exact, exact term, but that's pretty cool. Oh, here's the explanation. So it's a hologram. Um, and here's like the the example, so a laser will go to a beam splitter, to a mirror, and then the mirrors will redirect through a lens, to reference field, to another lens, and then the object will, I guess, eventually be shown to your eye through a mirror and a lens and a signal field. So that's really cool stuff. And then here's reading it. The image appears here, and then it's just fracted to you, to where you are. It's a gator, because that's our mascot. And then the light has to come from another way as well, through um, I guess, and diffracts. Um, I want to show you another thing. We have a whispering gallery here. It's just large pieces of like metal. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm assuming it's metal. It feels like metal. <laughs> but um, you can speak to someone across the room. And how it works is you whisper like right here and it'll kind of redirect to, to the other side of the room and get caught on the other side. I'll show you. Like if I whispered right, I don't have another one to talk, but if I whispered right here, it would be heard from the other side of the room. All right, let me show you another cool thing. So we have this, um, it's a pendulum. It's, it's a lot of pendulums actually. So I'm gonna push this button to turn it on. And Sorry, it did turn on, it was just, it took a minute, but this is a really cool pendulum because it's, um, it forms a wave pattern, or I'll read it here. It forms a wave pattern as the phase relationship changes. You can clearly see one, two, oh, then it's a halfway point of the cycle occurs at the 30 second mark when the balls divide into two straight lines. This is really cool. Like a lot of my physics degree was pendulums. So this takes me back to solving a lot of mathematical problems that I didn't understand. I got the degree, but yeah. I'll just show this for a second. Yeah, it's now, it's waving. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then it goes into one line again. And then it'll start the wave again. Kind of like the wavelength is it changes actually. It was like 
it's at double at what it was like a, a couple seconds ago. And then I can barely see a wave now. But this is so cool. Let me show you from this side. And I think it has stopped. And it stops onto the magnets, and then the magnets will be pull them to the other side, and that's how it starts again. So that was really cool. I thought that was really cool anyways. I thought I'd give you a history of physics. There's a bunch of physics like people here. We got uh, Robert Oppenheim, Richard Feynman, he's my favorite. There's Rosalind Sussman Yellow, Robert Wilson Arno. This is not really a history, this is more like looking at pictures, but you know, there's a, this is a really cool guy. He just died like a couple years ago, Stephen Hawking. And then, yeah, that was, um, that was the physics building. I feel like I should leave before I get kicked out. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how the audio sounded in there. I was trying to be really silent, but yeah, I probably should hurry before my bus gets ticketed. I, I think I got like a million, I, got, I think I had four tickets, like for my normal car when I actually lived on campus here. So I'm all too used to the tickets, um, but I, I, I don't know like they, how they would enforce the tickets on my bus because it'll be, a, <laughs> it'll take a while for them to tow it. I mean, of course, it's like, uh, I think 12,000 pounds, my boss. So yeah, I, I do want to walk to one more place. I'm going to go to, I guess the big old field. That's not the name of it. Um, honestly, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, that's okay. Oh, I do want to show you one last thing for, for relating to physics. There used to be a tree here right in the middle. Oh, I guess there, there used to be a big tree, but now, um, now it's, it got blown over by a hurricane. But they have this cool contraption here. It didn't used to be fenced in, but it is now. I guess someone was messing with it. And um, it's just showing like how these big rocks can be pulled or be balanced. They're floating, if you can see, and by these other rocks. It's, pr it's pretty cool. I mean, it's just a big visual demonstration. It's not really like showing too much, I don't think, but <laughs> any cool physics-y stuff. Yeah, I would bike here like every day down this hill. Probably would fall at least a couple times. But that's part of the experience, you know, falling. <laughs> Everyone's fallen before. As long as you get back up, you can get stronger. And then you can get strong enough where you can drive a bus like me. I don't even have my bike in my bus because uh, I didn't have room for it inside. I could have put it in my, maybe under my bed but at that point, I didn't think it was kind of worth it, you know? It's just a bike. But, wow, like I had a cool hat. <laughs> you had a feather in his hat. I want a hat like that. But now we're at like the, the main building of UF. It's uh, Museum Road. I don't know why they call it. I don't really think about it. Why do they call it Museum Road? Oh, wait, there's a museum on it. But yeah, the J. Wayne Rights Union. Um, it's kind of like, you know, when you go here, your first time you go to the cool school. It's pretty cool, I guess. But, um, oh, then we have a nice view right here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a, the view of the stadium. It looks really cool from this angle because it's so far away. Uh, this kind of reminds me, I used to live on like towers, Beatty Towers. It was like 13, uh, floors, it's way over there somewhere, but uh, what, what am I getting at? <laughs> oh, I can see the inside of the stadium from the towers. Someone is mowing their lawn, so I don't, or not the lawn, but you know, grass. I don't know why. I mean, I guess I do know why the grass gets grown, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know if anyone really cares. It's in like a weird spot to mow, but I guess some people do care. But um, yeah, we're getting to the cool part of the campus. I'm probably gonna go to the cool part and then walk back so I can s s shave my butts from being towed. Um, uh, yeah. So I don't know what I'm gonna make the series about next. I think I wanna go to Mammoth Cave in Arkansas. That's probably where I'm gonna go next. 
or um, somewhere in Kansas City because I have a friend in Kansas City, so it'll be cool to go there. Hopefully it's just not like mega cold, only a little bit cold, I don't know. Like when I went to the physics building like a couple minutes ago, there was actually people taking classes there. They were probably physics majors, kind of like me. So from a, it would be me from like four years ago, It's just cool. Um, so yeah, now we're under like a big covering. A bunch of golf carts here. We're almost to the big field, almost there. Everything looks a little bit nicer. By a little bit nicer, I mean there's a lot more construction <laughs> than uh, what I remember. And I remember these bike racks. I used to park my bike here a lot as well. Wow. Oh, I'm getting a call. Okay. So, I don't know. I didn't actually get a call. It just, my phone made the noise of actually getting a call, but there's no notification saying there's a call. But the, the campus is under a lot more construction than um, when I remember it would be. I mean, it was always under construction, but I don't remember this building being so like it was. Um, yeah, the food court would be like right there. So I would always like, you know, between physics classes, I would get food and stuff like that because it was so close. Now that I realize it's probably a waste of money how I just got food, like, like as a college student, it was pretty expensive to do that. But yeah, there's some cool art over there, like a bunch of rocks and stuff. There's so much art in this campus. It's a very artsy campus. I have a friend that went to FSU and they said this campus is very sciencey. I don't know, it feels very artsy, but I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know much about art. This is the Laboratory for Engineering Excellence, whatever that means. Engineering Excellence. I guess I'm an engineer. But am I excellent? Probably. I'm probably a pretty excellent engineer. But all right, here's the field. This is the field I've been looking for. And there's uh, still more construction here, honestly. <laughs> this is kind of a little bit boring in terms of the view right now. But I believe the construction will be gone eventually. <laughs> One day, um, but I probably won't be then. Won't be here when it's done. So yeah, people are just running. I kind of miss college, just walking down here. I would mainly ride my bike because it's faster. But I would walk sometimes. And yeah, I don't know what to say. I think we made it to the field of grass. This is what I've been looking for. This is like ideal grass zone right here. It's ideal because look, look at all this grass. There's so much, and then they have a little bit of trees, you know, just enough trees for shade and some picnic tables. But I would say this is pretty much the middle of the campus. You know, or least the nice part of the middle of the campus. And yeah, I don't really have any more to talk about about this campus. It was a nice, nice four years, but I think it's time for me to move on to cooler places. So that's the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Uh, like the video and I'll talk to you later. Peace.